Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to episode 54. And welcome to this very boring area that I've got here. <laughs> if, if you've never been to my channel before, this is just the the outskirts. Oh, it's time for bed. Great time to start recording. <laughs> this is like the outskirts of this town that have yet to be finished building. And last episode, we spent some time over here doing... Just got a... I, I had great timing right there. Had to, had to walk over here. Uh, doing this stuff and making this side of the town a little bit more interesting. Um, and that's also what I'm going to do today. I have plans for over here. So before we left this area for the first time... Let's go sleep. Uh, we... I thought, you know, we need to do something about these hills. They just seem, it's just, we're in the plains and then bam, it's a mountain biome. Doesn't seem very natural, not a good transition to me. So I wanted to do was create a, wrong way, a barrier from trees. That is one ugly tree right there. We're in 1.11, by the way, and have, and have Optifine for it. Anyways, I started it. It's not finished. I want to make this area even more interesting. We're not working on the trees today. Well, we might, but that's not what I'm, I'm focusing on. Right here is what I'm focusing on. And I want to make some waterfalls. And it'll be really cool. So, first thing that I want to do is probably map out where I want to go. Okay, so the idea is that there would be a natural spring up here. That would really be the only way that there would be water up here. I mean, I guess you could say that water would flow down from these mountains into this sort of valley here, but I think it would, in, in, in like real nature, I think it would end up down there on its own through little streams and wouldn't pool up here. I don't know, but you could almost say, this is natural right here. You could say that this was like a... um. I just said the word, didn't I? Oh, spring. <laughs> a little spring. So I kind of want to expand it. Bring it over here. Down this way. And I'm going to teach you guys how to make a proper river. You don't just put water on top of the ground. <laughs> it's not how we're going to be doing this. A little waterfall right here. Flow to the side a little bit. And another waterfall. So there's going to be like multiple waterfalls. Ooh, we could even have a second Little stream go like we could have it go straight down to where they meet up. But I don't really want it to do that. So let's actually have it do something like this. I don't want them to meet up at like the exact same spot. Ah, eh, we'll we'll worry about that when we get there. That's like a general map right there, and. And obviously we'll remove this wood and whatnot. So I've got a bunch of stone on me. And let's kind of fix up this area. I do want this to be something that you can access from down there. Maybe have a path coming up here. So I want to make it look nice and everything. So how is everyone? I am well. Classes have started up again. And I am I, I was sick for... Who... Uh... A week and now I'm like just coming off of it I'm still kind of sick you might be able to hear it in my voice but it's mostly gone I think and uh yeah so that's why you didn't see much video for from me but on the on the positive side I uh I got like my money for from like uh scholarships and whatnot and all those situations and I ended up actually having leftover money. And I'm going to wait. Now, those of you who, might, who have been watching me might know where I'm going with this. I've been saving up for a gaming computer so that we can do more than just Minecraft and, and do it better and whatnot. I feel like I want to drag this out more, but I don't have that much stone on me. I'll worry about that later. Let's put this down anyway. Uh, so yeah, I pretty much have enough for a computer. I'm just kind of waiting, waiting for, uh, for the end of the month because December sucked <laughs> for builds. Now, can I put this all on the top layer and will that create, 
a suction going down. Let's just go ahead and fill up one layer at a time. Now let's carve out the path going over to here. I've obviously roughly laid it out. I'm actually gonna use my silk touch pick doing this because I don't wanna go back and smelt more stone. But yeah, I'm coming off of being sick, so if I don't sound right and I don't sound super energetic, I apologize. That would be why. Um, let's extend this. Now this is going to, okay, let's just cut out this way. And it might drop a level here. Yeah, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to cut it down another level. And then I'll be back with you to let you know what I'm going to do from there. So I haven't released the water yet. Obviously, it's going to flow from here down this way. And then it comes around this little hill, contours to the shape of the land. Goes this way. It's going to split going this way where it's going to create one waterfall. And it's going to go this way where it will create another waterfall. So my first issue or my first thing that I'm going to address before we lay down the water is the material that will make up the the bottom of the riverbed and i wanted to i was going to use sand but looking around here there's a lot of gravel up here i think it would make more sense if it was just like rocks at the bottom of the snowbed or snowbed uh riverbed and that's what gravel is it is rocks so i'm going to cut it out and replace it with gravel Release the floodgates. And obviously that's not going to go very far. So we're going to have to help it out and just go along. And even once the water is done, we're not going to be finished because this is just not how rivers look or work. Or, I mean, I guess this is how it works. They, they flow. And we have flow. Flow from progressive. That's progressive, right? I just got cable again, it reminds me. I've been without cable for like two years, maybe even longer, I can't remember. And we just got it again. Because they like, they basically, we had like internet issues and we called them up and they were like looking at our stuff and they're like, hey, we can give you this package for like, of like better internet and, and TV for like the same price. I was like, okay. Um, so now I used to upload these videos, which are usually about 30 minutes long and like a one to one minute ratio. So it like took like a minute for every minute that the video was. And I uploaded a build study last night and it took seven minutes for a 35 minute video. So that's definitely an improvement. And I did block, I did block this off. Let's go this way. So once we've done this, we're going to come back and really touch this up. I don't want it to look like natural Minecraft generation. Um, that's just not, it's not fooling anyone. That's not convincing anyone. Uh, we're definitely going to touch up around here. So every, all the water's placed and it's... Just looking back, you can see, oh, well, I kind of want this to be to be larger. And then I'm going to actually grab my stone. And when I think of water, a lot of times I think, like, like it's corroding stone away, right? So uh, let's just put that there. I don't care. <laughs> So we're actually going to put some stone up alongside of of some of the parts of the river. And we're going to put vegetation. And we'll figure out some other stuff to put along here. But we can do like stuff like this. And it's really going to help us out. And even there. So obviously Minecraft's not normally going to do this on its own. That's why we're here to do it. You just gotta think, just because water's going through it doesn't mean that it looks natural. Vegetation's gonna help a lot once we, this little spot right here, this little patch of grass, this can definitely be uh, like heavy on vegetation. And then it gets like colder when we go over there and higher up. 
And right here, I want this to be more stone as well. Let's actually grab a shovel and just break away some of that. Because to me, this is like the spot where there's a lot of friction. Where the river's going to be coming this way, then splitting. So there could be a buildup of rocks, I guess. But I think it would also... There would be solid stone there if it were to if there were something here. I don't think that this gravel would just I uh, feel like I'm dying. Oh, oh, sorry, my throat just went bleh. No, you're not going to talk anymore. <laughs> I think that gravel would not hold up to the current of a river. So now let's bring down. Ooh. The thing is, we have to cut this into the land, so let's actually cut like this, and that's fine. And I'm gonna I'm gonna block this off back here because it's just gonna be a mess if we try to make this while the water is flowing. So I'm gonna cut it in a noticeable amount. You can tell that this is. This is cut in to the land when you step back. I think you can. Yeah, you can. Oh, gosh. I didn't mean to do that. Actually, what I meant to do is that. So what we can do here is we can, like, make it the way that we want it. Higher up. Oh, that's not going to do that. Okay. I also want... Let's get a bucket here. I want water right here. I'm not really worried about anything washing away there, so it's not that big of a problem. And then what I want now is cut this off. I want to bring this into the side of the mountain. So like that. And it's going to... Just think of the path that you want to take and think of gravity because I need it to cut into the mountain this direction right here. Otherwise, it would just spill out this way. Like right now, it would make sense for the water to just go this way. I want it to go this way and then over. So I'm definitely going to make that exaggerated. We could even, ooh, we could even cut in a little bit. Oh, that's not, I was going to say like underneath the gravel, but that's not going to make any sense because it's gravel. So let's just go, and then it's going to pull up right here, kind of, or it's going to meet up. So let's just tear this down right here and create sort of a little pool or a platform for it to come to rest. And then it's going to have another waterfall here. So cut this down. Coal is fine there. We're going to want to dress up this wall a little bit, I think. Okay, let's let's try to get the water to go down the way that we want it. So I don't want it to go over, that's for sure. So this needs to be more stone over here. It just doesn't look sturdy enough to hold up water. Can I get up here, please? Thank you. Yeah, um... Let's do, why are you here? Like, do you need to flow that way? No, you don't. Okay. So that's how I wanted that. And then I kind of also want it to go, uh, let's go sleep. We just slept and that looks pretty good. Forget this, but this looks decent. It's gonna require quite a bit more stone work here, obviously. But um, I like, I like the touches that we've made so far. There is not an easy way up here. So that needs to be fixed. I want water to go over this way more. Can I get, yeah, like that. And then we need to find a way to block this off. Let's just jump down there and just stop it. We can place that and break it. And then it's going to pull up right here. We said that. So let's just block this off. Actually, let's block it off here so that we can work on our little pool here. So then, uh, wish I had an infinite source here. Ugh. 
Remember those swimming boots I used to have? I really wish I still had those. I have feather falling boots on right now, I think. Yeah, because the that's why I'd been using in the jungle. Ah, dang it. Still no infinite source. So have you guys been playing any new games? I've been playing Pokemon Sun quite a bit. I've been uh, trying to fill out my decks, trying to get that shiny charm and whatnot. Let's, uh, does that want to? No, that doesn't make me want to do that. Right like that. Now, just because the river looks nice doesn't mean that this the rest of it does. So I actually, I really want to touch up. Oh, I wish that there was a good way to do this. This just needs to not be the way it be, but it be, so I do. Am I out of stone? I'm not even close to out of stone. So that's a lot better right there. I kind of don't want it to look like stone is sitting on gravel either. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, there can be gravel mixed in, I guess. But, like, that isn't necessarily good. There. Now I have to stand back to see if I really like it. And we can even make... Don't be afraid to make parts that aren't next to the river larger. So it peaks right here instead of right here. I think if we were to step back, we would be happy with that. But let's try that one thing that I want to do where we make it like hanging over like 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 this that's not so bad i feel like i want to do something on this flat wall but i definitely don't know what this actually took quite a bit of little work let me show you what i mean the right side is more or less the same as the left side but there were a few times where I let it flow down and then it would just take a path I did not want. So then I had to block it off. Or it would be like the water was coming out an extra block here. So I had to had to push away one at a time. Um, or I'd get it the way that I want and then, you know, it'd be a bunch of dirt right here, I think there was. And then I had to like replace it with stone and make it look natural. Like even right now, I really don't want that there. See that kind of thing would happen? And in survival, it's even less fun? <laughs> now, oh man. See, like this, why does this, why is this even a thing? I'm just gonna fix this in creative because this is stupid that it even flowed like that. Like, why is it over here? Why is it over here? Go away, go away. Shoo. Thank you. Even here, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, well, we got it now. This is more or less what it's going to look like. But we're obviously not done yet. Now is the vegetation stages. And also, I want this area to look nice for the sake of the town. So let's sleep. Let's go to game mode zero and then sleep and then we'll get back to that. Oh, this place looks nice, doesn't it? I've got the old light shaders on. Looks pretty good. So I've finished up. Let's actually go into creative mode. Uh, game mode zero. And nope, that's survival mode. Game mode one. And this is what the, the, uh, the waterfall looks like. I really like it. I think the vegetation turned out nice. Added some vegetation up here. We should probably, I don't know, I could i could probably make some good use out of the area up here. Although it is outside of the town. I also did a building right here. Pretty basic, pretty simple. This side's like nothing. 
And then, you know, these are carrots right here. I want to do something with this little area here. So those will grow in. And then there's a path right here. And, and I really like it from this side, this little workshop here. These houses are very simple. If, you, if you've been watching all this time and haven't figured it out, the houses themselves are very simple. But when you add these little workshops on the side of them, like I like to do, like there's one over here. I think that that's really what makes them shine. I really like that. And even this, I just added this uh, just for a little storage. And then uh, it's no secret, probably, if you've been paying attention. I don't really like making these houses because I go through so much wheat or so much hay. It's like I have to go over to this field over here. And I harvest this bottom section right here. There's a few that have been stomped out, and that's bothering me. <laughs> I ever saw this bomb section over here, and it's worth like one and a half stacks of bales. And then each roof is like 40 bales, so they don't really even go that far. So if I were to build the rest of these houses, I'd have to harvest that a couple times over, which is the main thing that I hate doing about these. But I should probably make a point after every episode to at least make one of them because it's super boring over here. And then just this one house, I feel like, brings this whole place together. I was watching, or I was doing a video, a build study on System Z's castle, and I kind of got distracted in the middle of it and started talking about his town that he has. And I noticed how he has everything super tight, and that's not the look that we're going for here. This is all very spread out. But he had everything so tight and so claustrophobic that if you were on one side of a house and then you walked over to the other side of it, this is the best example I can give over here. But it felt like a completely new area, even though you were still in the by the same house. Cause it was just like completely new and just a completely different feel. And it was like that every turn. So even though he only had like uh oops time set zero. Even though he only has like 15 houses in that little town of his, every turn felt like a completely different... It felt like it was bigger than it was, is what I'm getting at. I'd kind of like to do that. I tried that here, even though we're more open. You know, I I feel like I'm next to this town, house with a workshop here, but then we go down here, and hey, I'm at the docks. I There's these plants here, and it looks pretty good down here too. I don't know if you can tell. I had the render, the, you can, on these, hello words, on these shaders, you can do like render quality, shadow quality. And I had it up on two times two, and it created like this fine outline against the sky of like black, like a line of black pixels. And it looks, it looked really awful. <laughs> Not sure there's a fix for that. But anyways, water looks so good. Even on low, it looks so good. The only bad thing is uh, you can't see anything. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I have it on me, but the um, whichever enchantment lets you see underwater doesn't work with these shaders, I don't think. So that kind of sucks. This, this tree really sucks. Since I'm up here, don't hate me. But since I'm up here, I'm just going to do this. Because I'll show you how I... I guess this is a good time to point out how I do this. This is very barren on one side. That's obvious. So if you're like making your own custom trees like this, I even it out, first of all. And then I add like random drops. So that's like kind of a drop right there. I want this to stick out more here. Need it to stick out more on this side. And then I kind of pick a side and make it stick out extra. So I don't want it just to just be a like a sphere on top of trees. And the reason I'm doing this in creative is because it really doesn't make a difference. It's kind of a time saver and it's not like I can't get leaves in the blink of an eye. I don't I normally do it in in survival, obviously. Um so now that I've got these like sticking out more this way. It's like shading the river. And it's going into a different biome, too, which is kind of creating, like, a gradient in leaf color, which is cool. 
but also uh if you just have a ball on top of these trees and it really looks unnatural you want them to be like sticking out more on one side more than the other kind of like that that's just how trees work you know but yeah i like our our waterfall i like our house that we added today Hope you guys liked it. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you liked it, then leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Bye.